a very good morning, guys. Good morning, guys. Um, Mark 11, 11 through 23. Jesus curses a fig tree. And after he curses this because the fig tree doesn't have any fruit on it. And it's not even time for fruit in terms of the seasons for that particular tree. And whenever I read that passage, like growing up and even like until recently, I always thought like, bro, this is really weird. Like, what is he doing cursing this tree? That's a prophetic act meant to be followed by and Mark inserts this in his gospel on purpose and Christ did it on purpose what's it followed by? the the driving out of the money changers from the temple the, the temple wasn't bearing any fruit man the people, the people of God weren't bearing any fruit and the horrible judgment was proclaimed against them um, so uh Right after that, they go back and they see that, look, the fig tree you cursed is dried up. And that's when Jesus tells them, man, you could say to this mountain, move, and it would be thrown into the sea if you have faith. So you don't have to become a dried up fig tree. You can produce, you can be productive, you can have and make meaning in the world. And, uh... That, uh, by the way, that was uh, St. Theophon the Recluse uh, in, in actually his uh, devotional that uh, Joy of All Who Sorrow slash Steve Linder uh, post on that Facebook page and I think it's on the church website as well. Um, but honestly, until I read that, and, and literally it doesn't say that, St. Theophon's commentary literally is like only one word, one sentence, and then the, the rest of the, uh, the, the passage. But the sentence in that one was, um, be, becoming holy requires driving out things. Man. But yeah, um, that really blew my mind. I just wanted to share that with you guys. Uh, have a blessed day. Have a blessed week. And let's make it count. Peace.